Welcome back. Tip of the week. This time, our first installment from AirVenture Oshkosh 2018. We're going to take a look at three engine vendors who might have some solutions for your small aircraft. First, let's hear from the engine vendors. Okay, I'm Mark Kettering. This is 2018 here at Oshkosh Air Venture, and I'd like to tell you about the motors. We're Aero Momentum, and we make a line of motors from 75 horsepower up to 260, our newest one, and pretty much everything in between. This one's our 260 horsepower. It is 300 pounds, 260 horsepower with the gear drive, which isn't mounted here. Turbocharged, so you're able to maintain the power um, up high. And it's no taller, no wider, and no longer than a Lycoming IO360. So if it, you have an RV that fits in a Lycoming, this will fit. Our next engine is a 1300, 100 horsepower, and we make versions up to 126. Uh, it's about 170 pounds, and we do an upright or a low profile. These are, oh, one important thing about our engines is they're 100% brand new. We, nothing came from um, uh, auto salvage yard. Everything is brand new, fresh from the factory. We build the motors ourselves. We buy blocks, um, heads, pistons, rods, uh, go through every part, blueprint it, and then assemble it and test it. We have an in-house dynamometer, and we've actually dynoed our 1500 at 150.2 horsepower. We claim 147. We, one of the things is we like to meet or beat every spec. So if we tell you our, our weight is our weight or our horsepower is our horsepower, we have proof that we meet or beat that, and that's very important for us. Oh, by the way, mounted to this engine is a Luga prop. We're very happy with these. Uh, we're a uh, dealer for them. They come out of the Ukraine, and they really produce a thrust. Next engine in line is our little one liter. Uh, we're just getting this into production. We have our new gearbox with the large offset. Uh, this is 139 pounds, 75 horsepower, and that's not uprated at all from the factory. And one of the advantages of this over some of the other three cylinders is it doesn't have an extremely long stroke. Uh, it's really well suited for aircraft use. And very lightweight at 139 pounds. And then the last engine in our group is the AM15. And the AM15 is uh, 117 horsepower in our stock version, and we do versions, as I said, 147 horsepower. And we've mounted them in just about everything. Again, shorter, uh, narrower, and lower than a Lycoming. And we have all the accessories for it, like the radiators and uh, exhaust, uh, engine mounts, um, you name it, uh, we have the parts to help you put it in your aircraft. And how should we contact you? Uh, you can contact us off of our webpage, aeromomentum.com, um, or email aeromomentum at yahoo.com. Hi, I'm Steve McCamey. I'm with uh, D Motor North America. I am the uh, right now the U.S. dealer for uh, D Motor, and uh, we're here at Oshkosh uh, 2018. We're uh, reintroducing D Motor into the U.S. market as a uh, direct competitor for uh, Rotax, Jabiru, and uh, UL Power uh, in the uh, mainly the LSA market. I'm standing next to our uh, our large engine here. It's a LF39 six cylinder. It's got, uh, it's a flathead design. You'll notice that uh, it's like an old Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, automobiles went away from the flathead design originally was because they, uh, uh, they lose power at high RPM, but an aircraft engine doesn't have that problem. If you want to use direct drive, uh, it doesn't have to spin that fast. The maximum RPM on this engine is uh, 3,100 at max power. Uh, it cruises between 25 and 2,800 RPM. It's got multi-port fuel injection. It's got dual uh, CDI uh, ignition. It's um, it's made in Belgium. Uh, 
This particular engine was developed for the Coax 2D helicopter, which we have a banner for over here. Uh, the Coax 2D uh, was originally slated to have a Rotax 914 in it, and uh, the 914 uh, wasn't able to, uh, its, its torque power curve was not able to allow that helicopter to, uh, to hover uh, out of ground effect. So uh, D-Motor developed the larger LF-39, and uh, that's our big, I think, as far as performance is concerned, that's our big selling point is torque. Our retail price on it is 23,000 euros, which will float with the exchange rate, and I think yesterday that ended up being 26,925 US. The, um, over here, we have, uh, a D-Motor LF-26. Uh, this was the original D-Motor. Um, it's very light. Uh, it's only about 135 pounds, complete with oil and, uh, and uh, cooling liquids. Um, it has all the same features of the, of the uh, 39. It's got an integral alternator built in. It's got uh, lightweight starter, uh, full FADEC control. It's um, it has about 90 horsepower, uh, which makes it, in the power uh, class, it's going to be right about the same as an 0200. I actually have a, a Fisher Dakota Hawk that I want to use as a demo plane. I thought about putting this engine on there, and the big problem I've got with it, it it's it's about 80 pounds lighter than the 0200, so <laughs> I'm going to have to do a little bit of weight and balance and maybe some cowling mods just to uh, to put that engine on there, but that'll be my demo uh, engine for uh, D-Motor. We're here at the show in Oshkosh. Uh, we'll be here all week. We're in booth 639, and uh, invite everybody to come out and uh, and chat with us. We are taking orders this week. Welcome to Oshkosh 2018 uh, at the Viking Aircraft Engine Tent, even though we don't have a tent. Umbrellas. Uh, here's our latest and greatest from us. We are now producing and, and manufacturing and also shipping the 90 horsepower engine. The 90 horse engine is a, a Mitsubishi uh, based engine. It basically has uh, the same reduction drive that we've been using for years on our 130 horsepower engine which is uh, made uh, or it's a it's a converted Honda engine this guy is uh, lighter because it's three cylinders and also because it's only a 1.2 liter engine it uses uh, port injection as you can see there's only three injectors rather than four even though it's a three cylinder engine it's a very smooth running engine has good power our, our um, 701 aircraft even with the 26 inch tires can get uh, 90 miles an hour cruise speed doesn't sound like a whole lot for those guys that fly the the Lancers and all that but that's pretty good for a little uh, airplane that can jump off the ground in 30 feet and have those big tires and have fun with this engine um, retails for the same price as we uh, do the larger engine, which some people have asked us why is that. It's like $9,900. Uh, the reason is it's uh, pretty much cost the same to manufacture uh, any auto conversion engine, uh, unless you get into the big turbo engines and all that. So, yep, yeah, get yours today. This is uh, something that we are now flying in the um, SP-30 aircraft, which uh, we're very... Uh, happy with it has the big tires and we're cruising around in Florida enjoying the test phase of this engine we've already sold some engines uh, of the 90 at Oshkosh and I would say uh, the most uh, the people that are the most excited about it are those that are replacing the VW engine uh, such as in the, the Sonics and in the uh, 701 Zenith uh, also those that are replacing or are in the need of, not necessarily always replacing, but in the need of a Rotax 80 or a 100 horsepower engine, this engine uh, fits right in between those two and will replace it for a considerable uh, saving as far as dollars. All right, you can get this at, uh, you can uh, contact Viking Aircraft Engines. Uh, Alyssa is our 
uh, representative to talk to. Her phone number is 386-566-2616. Also, go to our website, Viking Aircraft Engines, and join our forum and follow all these builders that are using the Viking engines, the 130, the 180, and the 90.